We get right to our top story this morning in Belmont County, where there is an ongoing investigation into the suspicious deaths of two people. Thank you for joining us for this Wednesday morning. I'm Stephen Ruffing. The incident on trails and drive was called at first a fatal fire. Officials tell us there was indeed a blaze in an upstairs bedroom. However, questions remain about the actual cause of death of the couple inside. Now rumors are swirling about their identity and whether this was a cover up. My guys and, and the rest of uh, uh, the investigators are out there at the scene uh, once they're done and completed and um, uh, my guys will report back to me and we'll uh, have more details. Right now it's too early, uh, especially for the family and stuff like that, uh, to give any details uh, what happened, what went on, uh, but we will later on. Authorities are not releasing any names until all family members have been notified. If you live in the trails and area and have a security camera, Sheriff Lucas wants to hear from you. You're asked to call 740-695-7933. That number is also right there at the bottom of your screen. Looking in Jefferson County, Steubenville Police Chief Bill McCafferty has confirmed authorities are investigating a homicide that took place yesterday morning. Police say a man's body was found in a home on Euclid Avenue. The victim's name or any other information has not been released at this time. A 21 year old man has been charged with attempted murder in Wheeling. Police say Daniel Isaac Eugene Wines turned himself in early yesterday morning. This was in connection to Wednesday's shooting on 29th Street. The incident took place around the parking lot of Duggars Market. A victim was taken to Wheeling Hospital where he remains in stable condition. Make sure you stay with 7 News and WTRF.com for updates.